Hey everyone, recently I've been getting a lot of questions because of the most recent Bitcoin explosion that we see of 61.5k right now on the price charts on Coinbase. We're seeing about a 7.71% increase in the last week, about a 14.29% increase in the last month, about a 30.49% increase. So I'm going to talk about the price a little bit. I want to jump into why Bitcoin's been having this massive jump. You may have heard something about Bitcoin ETFs, but we're going to talk a little bit more about everything regarding this Bitcoin increase and then talk talk about some of the altcoins that are to follow. So right now we can see that Bitcoin, the price, like I said, right around $61,000 um, you know, $61.5,000, I should say. And we have the market cap continuing to trend upwards. We see $1.2 trillion right now. By the way, that's 38% of the crypto market. We have volume being in the last 24 hours of a 16.53% increase. $46 billion now can really continuing, like I said, to see some great, great things happening in, in this crypto space. It's not just Bitcoin. Altcoins are starting to follow. And I'm going to talk about that here in just a second as well. But we can see that the all-time high, by the way, $64,863. So we are not far away from the all-time high for Bitcoin. And this is during, like I said, a start of a weekend. With this picked up volume, we could see a great, great weekend come into play for Bitcoin. We'll definitely have to show you guys and talk about this through the weekend. So remember, if you guys want updates on Bitcoin, you want updates on the crypto space at all regarding altcoins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. Obviously, we are going to continue to see the typical hold time increase at 83 days now. I know last time we talked about it, it was closer to 70 or 60 days, but people are starting to hold Bitcoin longer, expecting very, very high volatility and trying to sell off, obviously, at the high or continue to hold on until we see bigger and better things. I think Bitcoin is going to be one of those coins that uh, obviously continues to be the really captain of the market you know it's going to continue to push people or push altcoins i should say in certain directions because we're going to continue to see bitcoin do well because of this most recent like i said etf approval so jacoby granted approval for world's first tier one bitcoin etf this is one of the big asset management uh, asset management companies that has received approval to launch the world's first tier one bitcoin etf and this is absolutely huge you know the jacoby bitcoin etf is a centrally cleared crypto backed financial instrument a uh, really instrument and it kind of authorized by the uh, the Financial Services Commission, or GFSC, with the custody provided by Fidelity Digital Assets. It is Jacob, or Jacoby's, I always say Jacob's instead, but you know, there is an I at the end. Jacoby's intention to list the Jacoby Bitcoin ETF on SIBO Europe, one of the largest European, uh, really, equity exchanges subject to financial conduct authority or FCA listing approval. By the way, this is absolutely huge. Like I said, they've been working on this for quite some time. A lot of companies love the idea of Bitcoin ETFs coming. And, uh, you know, I expect this price to continue to rise in value. If you didn't know, Bitcoin ETFs, obviously the main reason we're seeing this massive, massive push, which, you know, Bitcoin futures, everything regarding Bitcoin. I'm not going to just say it's one thing or another, but ETFs definitely pushing this price up at this moment. If we go down a little bit farther, it talks about the Jacoby Bitcoin ETF was developed to meet regulatory standards by Christopher Jahan, head of fund architecture and former chair of Guernsey Investment and Funds Association, or GIFA. Mr. Jahan led the team a mid-shore consulting in designing the fund with the legal work performed by Collis Krill, led by partner Wayne Atkinson and senior associate Gareth Morgan. So, you know, we've seen this before. We've seen this kind of a pump before on Bitcoin. The question is, will it remain? You know, will we continue to see it rise or will we see a dump just, you know, days after this? So if we take a look at the last week, you know, we can see here, you know, it's been a very, very steady increase. $54,000 to over $61,000 in just a week span. I do expect, you know, somewhat of a pullback before we see much more, before we can see that all-time high push, which we do still expect by the end of this year. If we take a look at another article relating to uh, Bitcoin, it talks about Bitcoin ETFs are almost here. So also Tether, Index Membership, and Shredded Bank Ski. So they talk about a lot of different things in regards to the Bitcoin ETFs. The first is it will put 30% of the money into a collateral account at a U.S. registered commodity futures exchange to collateralize positions in cash settle Bitcoin futures. The futures exchange will presumably hold the collateral in bank accounts or treasury bills or whatever. It will put about 70% of the money into money market securities, treasury bills, or high-grade commercial paper or whatever. So this is absolutely huge, continuing to see why this is a big deal, kind of giving you guys examples of the arbitrager gets 
really together $60,000 and buys one Bitcoin on a Bitcoin exchange, keeping it in custody on the exchange or in the arbitrager's own Bitcoin wallet. The arbitrager sells one cash settled Bitcoin future on a registered futures exchange, posting $20,000 of collateral within the exchange to ensure that it'll pay up the bet. If the price of Bitcoin goes up, the arbitrager has to put more cash into the futures exchange to margin its position. The value of the Bitcoin it holds goes up. This is basically just kind of giving you an understanding of how the trade is roughly going. Um, if you, you know, you do take on Bitcoin e futures and ETFs. We have talked though a little bit more about why, like I said, we are going to see altcoins fall behind, but it's going to take them just a little bit longer. And that's one thing we kind of mentioned here. If you go scrolling through, you know, some of the coins right now that are following closely behind, you see Polkadot over, over $40. You know, we're getting close to an all-time high with Polkadot, $41.62. All-time high was that $49.69. If we actually take a look at some other coins as well that are doing very, very well today, we can actually go into the gainer section. If we go into the gainer section, you're going to see all of the gainers in this last 24-hour period. As maybe Coinbase's site is having trouble loading here, um, which is kind of crazy. Obviously, we've had this in the past, usually resulting in bad things. But uh, if there's a lot of people buying, it would be interesting to see, you know, Coinbase struggling because of all of the, you know, new action and price movement and, uh, you know, more users utilizing the Coinbase site. I think that'd be kind of interesting to see some of these sites go down on an upturn instead of a downturn for once. But I do want to see. Like I said, a lot more action on some of these altcoins. We see Polygon up about 20%. I did, you know, I've talked about Polygon in so many of my must watch videos. So I'm happy to see it doing well. Uh, you know, Solana, another one we talked about quite a bit. Scales, another one we've talked about quite a bit in the past. Orchids, another one. So there's a lot of great coins up in the top. FTX token, VeChain. You know, we talk about these because of the massive movement in Bitcoin. We are going to continue to hopefully see them do well as well. If you guys have not already, by the way, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I do want to go back to Bitcoin, talk about the price prediction for the end of the year and the end of the bull market. I still think Bitcoin has an easy chance of reaching around $70,000 to $90,000 by the end of this year. By the end of this bull market, my really only goal is $100,000. I think $100,000 to $120,000 by the end of this bull market is definitely within reach, definitely reasonable enough. If we continue to see bullish news like this, you know, it's going to be only a matter of time before we see that new all-time high come through later in this week or later in this month. So we'll continue to keep you guys up to date on this channel. Like I said, if you guys want to continue to show support, go over to my Twitter account. One thing about the Twitter account that I will say is we have giveaways going on over there quite often. So the most recent giveaway by the way, is 40 link to be given away at the end of October if we hit $40 chain link by then. So all you have to do is retweet and follow to be entered. Crypto Profit YT on Twitter if you guys want to get entered. We also just talked about quite the movement we are seeing in the crypto space. BTC, Bitcoin, 60K incoming. Obviously, we are over 60K now. This was tweeted out when I think we hit 59K, around 59K. So great to see this movement continuing, really continuing to take place. You know, we've We've bought the low, and hopefully we're going to continue to accumulate during this push to the top. So thank you guys again for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, let me know down in the comment section down below. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys all in the next one.